you know, it's been real fun. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's been real fun, and uh, I think I gotta go now. Bye. Instantaneous. Another victim. For vengeance. Let's see. Cool. A little bit of range. Dang it, I missed one. Oh, there's a bridge. Good bunny. Ah, you are almost freaking dang it. You know what, Ninja Robot? You is a b. Why don't I just try bashing through? Just run all the way through. My buddies? Yeah. Looks like it's going okay. Interesting. Something interesting over there. Look at that. Am I going a little too ahead of myself? Yeah, I think I am. Ooh, spooky. It's so funny how you can cheese the game. Just climbing over things. Oh boy. Things getting snowed on? Look, those monsters appeared. Oh shoot. Go away. Um, where's our buddy? <laughs> our buddy's down there. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> he's got a darn well try. Where's Buddy? Oh, he's down there. We'll just have to figure a way down, I guess. I suppose we can enter this. Hey, it's off. Interesting. Did it work? It worked. 
Go away. Oh. Hey, I'm hitting it. That is so bold. Let's see what's in here. Oh boy. Lots of spinning robots. Lots of spinning robots. And that does decent damage to them. What about this stuff? Eh. I could probably have more luck with this. And I have plenty of... Oof. My brothers, oh, he's coming. Gotcha. We got him. All right. You next. <laughs> That's pretty good damage we've done. There we go. We fixed them up good. Oh hey, this almost looks like the castle from the first part. Why is there still more music? Yep, there is. What do you mean? Storm in the castle, way too head of the game, I'm sure. Monsters defeated. Ozzy opens the treasure chest. What luck! Curious contraption. And a seed of life. Not much else in here. Not even. Man, not even little banners or anything. I'm disappointed. So, she wanted me to make this room. And I got a little rant about it. As far as I've went in this game now, where everything is full of bricks. And she wants her little place made of dirt. That's exactly the kind of workroom I wanted. Thanks a million, Azu. Now I'll be able to study Galileo's notes in peace and come up with something what'll wipe that Magmalis out. You know, inventing weapons ain't exactly my cup of tea, but I've gotta stick to it. Stick at it. I'm the only one who knows that kind of stuff Galileo was working on. Why'd I get a job working for an inventor I don't, if I don't like inventing? Don't get the wrong idea. It, it it weren't like I was like I was his apprentice or nothing. I was just helping them out, is all. And anyway, dragging up the past ain't gonna get us nowhere. More importantly, Ozzy, while you were busy building that room, I remember something about one of Galileo's old inventions. Here, let me tell you all about it. 
better gird up them loins of yours, Azu. The bat Magmelis army's on its way. Looks like them new weapons we come up with really put a wind up them. They're on the way over to shut our research down. But as long as we got enough crack shots ready to launch, we'll be able to handle any dancing flames that come knocking. What do you say, Ozzy? Are you ready to show them monsters what we can do? I ain't been making much progress on my research lately, and it's gotten me in proper funk. But there ain't nothing that clears my head like clobbering a few monsters. Leave a place of them for me, won't ya? Guess I gotta fix up this wall. What about you? Nice work getting rid of those monsters, Azu. But still, whenever the horrible things make it into town, I always worry about that something's gonna get wrecked. Which is why I've been thinking, why don't we build something that'll keep them away from our eye out altogether? Here, take a look at this blueprint I've drawn up. If we had a thing like that in front of the entrance, the blighters wouldn't be able to even touch us. I reckon over there is the best place to set it up. Go on, Azu. Give it a go. Build that piston palisade I've been drawn up for you and beef up our defenses. Ah, so here's the palisade. And here's what it does. Okay. That seems pretty effective. Cool, blimey, it's beautiful. You made me the piston palace out of my dreams. When the monsters step on them pressure plates, they activate the pistons and get the right royal whacking. Not a bad little plan, eh? Turns out my brain is as brawny as my body. Guahaha. Truth is, I always felt like if I weren't lifting, I mean pulling my way around here while Barbella's been straining our brain, the only thing us lads have been straining is our six packs. That's why I tried to come up with an idea of my own to help protect the base. If the plan worked, these pistons will knock the monsters away from coal and we can fight them out in the wilds. That way, we'll be able to get as rowdy as we like without worry about wrecking our Ido. Okay, cool. Well, if it ain't my old mate Azu, you're just the lad I wanted to see. Ever since you made me that workroom, my research has been going great guns. I reckon I figure out the secret of making magical weapons. Seems like it's all down to these things called power crystals. There's special stones you can use to store huge amounts of energy. Galileo's research records don't tell you exactly how to make them, but they do tell you what ingredients you need. First things first, you need to pick up a few of them macrochips that control the under un, unter, untermix. <laughs> In Galadome, you can use those chips to fuse the energy of the frost orbs dropped by frost burns and the flame orbs dropped by dance of flames. Also, I want you to gather up the materials and see if you can't build me a few of those power crystals. We can make magic ingots and whip up some properly powerful weapons. We had some, we might be able to take out Magmalis. The war will be over. Cole will be bright and sunny again. Just, hey. That's a nice looking amber you got there. What do you call it? Ella's amber? Who the heck is Ella when she's at home? Dodgy name aside, that thing looks flippin' fantastic. Thanks, Azu. 
Them power crystals you built are all packed full of combined energies of fire and ice. That's the secret that Galileo was working on his whole life but never got to see the fruits of his labor. When you fuse two elements together, it produces a massive amount of power. But without the power to build, we had no way of harnessing that power. He died before he could finish his research. By the looks of it, the monsters want to get this power into their own rotten hands. And the thing that worries me is the most what? Most is, what exactly are they planning to do with it? You know, for evil? But never mind all that. Now that we know how to build those El Elazammers, we don't have to worry about the monsters no more. Soon as you're ready to take the hammer down to the monster's castle and give the Magmalus the clobbering of his life. It's nearly time to bring this to an end. Soon as we got rid of the Magmalus, I finally will be able to put down the books and pick up the dumbbells again. <gasps> oh, it's the hand that I couldn't fight. Watcha, Azu. A little bird tells me you built us some kind of magical super weapon. Barbella is all fired up about it. She's been going on at us to get down to Lava Town and use them to clobber that Magmalus. But Azu, there's one thing I need you to do for me before we go. It's something really important. A matter of life and death. I need you to make them bass even fancier than ever before. Hot bass. Okay. Oh, there you are. Gorgeous. Okay. Gore. Them bass look proper lovely now. That sign will give us all the motivation we need to take on the Magmelis. Thanks a billion, Azu. You always come up trumps, no matter how tough a task I give you. It's got me thinking maybe there's something I could do for you in return. I know I'll give you one of my super special power puff puffs. Afraid I got some bad news for ya, Azu. It looks like the monsters have gotten wind of our new weapon. They're on their way over to smash up the place before we can finish off their boss. Grr, that dirty rotten swines. Why'd they have to come now? We were so close to polishing them off. Still, they was they're only delaying the inevitable. Now we got these Ela Amers, they don't stand a chance. What say, Azu? Ready to show the monsters who's boss yet? Alright, let's get rid of this last lot, then take the fight to Magmalis. Alright, let's see. Oh, over here. Oh. We're gonna need the, the flame version of these. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Ow. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ah, equipment. So we can try on these new ones. Yeah, 50 damage. <laughs> I still got this iron broadsword. one of you to bump into that <laughs> there we go it's just just the winged one Oh, I didn't know you 
do that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, ow. That got me pretty good. Oh, come on. You're almost dead. There we go. There's more? No. Just in time for dinner. Yay. Okay. Not too shabby. <laughs> no, I want to talk to her. We managed to get through that battle all right, but didn't something seem a bit off to you? Till now, it's only been Magmalus's minions that attacked us. But you saw them icy monsters, right? I've never seen Frostburn and Cole before. If I'm right about this, it means the Magmalus ain't working alone. He's only gone. He's only gone and teamed up with the Fern Fiend that rules Galenome. Hmm. There's no time to lose. We got to get rid of that Magmalus before they get get themselves organized. Go on, Azu. Get yourself down to that lake of lava and put that Magmalus out of his misery. Oh, and don't forget to take your mates along with you. Let me know when you're ready to head out. Oh, okay. Who is it? Burly, yes. Let's take you. We say, yep. Who's this? Come on, baby. He's starting to get a bit tasty around here. <laughs> you don't want a silly old codger like me hanging around with you, but I'll ask anyway if you feel like to say no. Do you need my help? Yes. Oh, for Ruba's sake. <laughs> Alright, I'll come along. But just remember, I can't help you if I get injured along the way, so let's not stray too far from the base, alright? There you go, Maxi. You and Barbella have been getting awfully close lately, working on them inventions. Um, you got a problem with that? But you two ain't exclusive right there's still a place in your art for me and my monster mashing muscles right oh <laughs> well if the magmalus and the fern fiend are in the cahoots maybe they're looking for a way to fuse themselves together and turn themselves into some kind of super monster there ain't nothing for it, Azu. we got to get rid of the magmalus before they can put their plan into action you know where to find him, right? He's in the lake of lava, just outside the monster's castle. I ain't gonna bore ya going on about how tough he is. I just say this, we gotta beat him or die trying. The only thing he ever shows above the surface is that horrible red and of is. That's what we have to focus our attacks on. Alright, this is it, our final battle. Let's head through the blue teleportal and take that magmalus down I should probably save ah well I, I guess it'll be fine you guys okay over there oh why does there have to be a golem there How annoying. go away my goodness Guys, guys, you gotta be careful. Ow. It is me who needs to be careful. Ow, you freaking... Ah, dang it. There's no way to avoid that, is there? Let's get rid of this stupid golem. I 
life. What are you doing sitting in the lava? We did it. We did it, wheels and ghouls.